Hey guys. Good morning. It's moonlighter time. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of this game finally. Yesterday's stream, I was so lost. Oh my god. Hey, Chad, good morning to you, sir. I don't know if anybody actually wants to watch Moonlighter. I actually got the long. What's it called? The long reach yesterday? Not overnight. Got it this morning, I think it was. Um, pretty interested in trying it. The long reach, but uh, I thought maybe, maybe <laughs> tinker with this just a touch longer. I want to turn the music down a bit it's, for some reason. It's uh, too loud. I turned it down a bunch and it's still too loud. <laughs> so here we are. Yesterday I did pretty good selling. I've I mean, I sold uh, just like, I literally sold everything I own in very short order just after we stopped playing together. So, I made some progress in understanding how that works. But it definitely helps once you've already sold stuff. Don't mind me, I'm chewing on carrots, hope you don't mind. Must be annoying as hell, right? My bad. I bought this yesterday. This is the cheap sale box. It's basically like a uh, clearance box. So I guess you just put all your crap in it. And, uh... It's automatically discounted 75%. Why you'd want that, I really don't know. <laughs> but, uh, whatever. You'll notice I made uh, health potions this time. I actually have five of them equipped, so I think we can do better in the dungeon now. No, I didn't. I did see that it was released, but I didn't actually watch it. I'm so tired of Bumblebee. I, I don't know what their obsession with Bumblebee is, to be honest with you. I mean... Uh, if anything, give me a Optimus Prime movie, you know, like Megatron movie. Bumblebee? Whatever. I heard it was more kid oriented. Is that true? <laughs> but he's still not he's still not a uh a bug, right? He's still like a freaking Corvette or whatever. I don't know. I'll check it out later. Oh. The TV volume's on. That's why I'm having trouble in my ears. Why it's coming through so loud. And you might even have an echo going on. Who's watching? It says there's two. Say hello. Don't be shy. Speak and be heard. I'd watch the trailer right now, but then I'd probably get like copyright strike or something. <laughs> My luck. Ooh, what's that? An ancient pot. It must be placed at the top or bottom of bag. I don't quite understand what they mean by that. Oh, that's what the arrows are. This has to go to the left or right. This is the top or bottom. But why? I don't understand why. I can be a little slow at times, I guess. Sometimes I need someone else to teach me how to play before I can make a video and teach someone else how to play. So basically this game is a cycle of like adventure, cell, dungeon, adventure, cell, dungeon, mostly cell, dungeon. And I don't think it's for me, to be honest with you, but if you want to try one more stream, see if anybody's interested in checking it out, because there seemed to be moderate interest for the game prior to release. But, uh. 
Maybe I'm wrong with that. Let's throw a tweet up, shall we? A live stream with Moonlighter. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. Done. I have very few Twitter followers. I just, something I can't seem to get nailed right. Same, it should have been Hot Rod. I was going to say that too. Hot Shot, Rodimus Prime. <laughs> Looks like ET. Yeah, they say it's more towards kids. I'm going to be honest with you. You're not going to like this, but it's a smart thing to do. I mean, you can't ignore the younger audience. I mean, we have to create the next generation of Transformer fans. So it does have to be stuff aimed at the younger audiences also. But yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't, just don't understand why everything is so bumblebee. I'll check it out. I'll reserve my opinion until I at least watch the darn thing. But yeah, I have heard. It just definitely seems to be more kid-oriented. Looks like E.T., huh? I would take that as a compliment. I'm going to go ahead and guess this movie has nothing to do with the quality of E.T., <laughs> but I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't even want to go actually go and watch it. Hey, Dave. Um, Yeah, you know, I, I have so many games. I literally am behind. There's like 30 games I got to review and never reviewed. I'm so far behind. And games I'm supposed to make content for and haven't. So, unfortunately, games have to go on the burner really quickly for me. And I'm just on the fence with this. I just don't know. So, I'm going to give it one last shot before I ditch it. Ah, oh, crud! I'm about to jump into the into the healing, the healing pool. And I accidentally pulled the trigger and used my life potion. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. After we left yesterday, um... I finished up the day doing the shop. You know, I did the shop before turning off the game. I sold everything I owned in short order, got some achievements, raised a bunch of money. Um, I don't know, it just kind of finally clicked. I wish you guys could have seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. But really, this is what you do. You know, you, you go in these dungeons, you collect crap, you sell it, and you rinse and repeat. And I don't know I don't know how much I like that, to be honest with you. I'm really turned off by the fact I found the end boss to this level. Um, and he killed me with one shot. So I think what, ha what you have to do is, if you're going to go ahead and attempt to find the key to the, to the next level, I think you have to go in and hunt the end boss specifically. Like specifically go after the end boss so that you don't get whacked and lose all your crap you know, you know am i making, making sense like don't adventure and then wander into the end boss i think we have to specifically come in hunting for him to try and finish the level that way you don't lose any of your, your time and work and i think we need different weapons because they're starting to shoot things like in the air this guy is flying i can't seem to hit him until he comes down but he seldom comes down Oh. Cool. I lost all that. Are you kidding? But this is why. You see, I was full. I had a full backpack and I tinkered around some more. And look what happened. And I think I had some good stuff to sell too and I lost it. I actually used the slime to make five health potions and just right then and there. For whatever reason, I failed to uh, use the health potion. I'm not a fan of the whole, you know, die, lose all your crap, and then do it all over again. I think that's stupid. But uh, I'll show you guys how, to, how a good day at the shop goes after I try this again. Oh, come on. God. Stupid game. 
Yeah, it's dumb, dude. It's not what I thought it was. And, uh... You can't even attack angles. It's up, down, left, or right. Uh, you know, it just... It, it looks nice, but it under-delivers. And you guys ever played The Long Reach? Because I finally got a key for that. Um, overnight, I woke up to it. I was very excited. I've been wanting to try it. I don't know if anybody would actually watch me play it, but... It's either live stream it or I make pre-recorded content of it or do a review. I don't do too many reviews. It takes a lot of time to really sit down with a game and like play it to death and really get a good grip of it to write a review. Some games you can review rather quickly, but other games could take, you know, hours on top of hours. I'm not finding the kind of good stuff I found last time through so far. I'm kind of finding junk. Who can explain to me why certain items, like, do you see this has the two arrows? That means it has to be on this side or that side of the backpack. If the arrows are top and bottom, it has to be on the top and bottom of the backpack. But I don't understand why. Sometimes. Jeez. It's a very, 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 very hard game. So we bailed. All right. Now we're going to go over to, I guess, the shop and sell our crap. Because I'm going to have to buy more health to go after that level again. But what I really need is better weapons. So check it out. Here's the table, right? Things you've already sold. You just press R1. It'll dump them at the price you last sold it. That's jelly. Do not sell jelly. You need that to... Uh... This is the tough part. is trying to know what to sell and what not to sell. Because you have to use the same things you sell in order to produce spells and... Enhancements and weapons and defense. So it's really, really tricky to sort that out. But the good thing is you can actually open a store where you can go ahead and buy stuff. See, I just dropped them back down. They're already at good prices. So she, she loved the price for this. But next time I should up, update the price a touch. You can see now that I'm starting to get prices that work, the, the selling process goes so much smoother. I mean, I'm just literally just plowing through my stuff. But the thing is, you have to spend so much money to open up a sh um, the new shops that you end up having no money left. So you have to go back and grind some more. It's just like this constant grind. But look at this. Everything's just being sold, like, just gone. I'm literally going to sell everything I have. That's enough money to open the store. So we'll do that next. those happy faces that means I'm underselling yesterday I got a uh, achievement for being a scammer for having 60 times them telling me my price was too high <laughs> apparently it's a rare achievement that's it see it's all sold but the jelly the jelly gets you a health potion so you don't want to sell that you want to keep that let's take our money Sorry guys, shop's closed. I have nothing left. Bust out. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to get um, Levit Teller. Well, it's nighttime, so we have to sleep first. Unless you guys want to dive into the dungeon first. Want to do that? Get more shit to sell? 
Because once I have her, I can buy. Now, without health, I'm just going to die. It's just stupid. So, we need to go to the hat first. Watch. I don't know if the hat's even open at nighttime. You see the signs actually? Oh, there you go. This is the hat. She'll make you health potions, but you can um, you can buy them for 380 or trade her one jelly plus 118. This does uh, 200 health, but it wants an, uh, another type of jelly I haven't seen yet. Oh my god, I can buy it. Here we go, right? So let's, uh, let's do this. Alright, so now we got a bunch of health potions. Keep in mind, you need to go in your backpack and physically equip them. Okay, see? Let's sleep and open this door. Forget the dungeon. We'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow in the game. Here we go. So we've slept. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I saw that. Is it tabs or tab? It's one, right? It's a... Uh, you got a featured tab, right? I'm break my switch out real quick. Uh, my switch. You need, you guys. I don't know if you guys have the uh, the Moco stand, but uh, just the best stand on the planet for switch. I love this thing. I use it for my phones, my iPad, my switch, and everything. The switch version itself is a bigger base, and it has vent holes that match the switches. So it's not just a generic stand. It's actually a switch custom version of that stand for the switch because uh, the iPhone iPad version doesn't have the vent holes and it's a little smaller um actually they sent them to me to review but they're on Amazon if you go to my YouTube channel type in M-O-K-O -O, stand you'll see it or just my switch accessories playlist and there's a link in the description that takes you straight to the stand I make like and a commission if you buy through that, so that's really awesome. But that's not why I'm telling you to do it. It's the best stand on the planet. Like I said, I have my iPad on one right now. And I have my Switch on one as well. This is the iPad version, right? The hooks are a little smaller. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. So this is the iPad version. The hooks are a little smaller. And there's no vent holes, right? I use it for my iPad, my iPhone. I even put my Wii U controller on it and do that as well. And then there's the Switch version, which you could totally just get the Switch version and use it for everything. The Switch version has slightly uh, wider hooks to fit the thicker Switch. And you'll notice that the vent holes match. Ooh, someone just liked my tweet, huh? Anyway, the vent holes match the Switch, which is super cool. And of course, if you wanted, you can put your... Uh, iPad on it as well. Notice how strong the hinges are. That it's even with a gigantic iPad, it stays exactly where you put it. So it's a godsend. And whenever I'm I'm working, I have my phones and iPads all set up, and my Switch all set up so I can see, you know, kind of what's going on on Twitter and everything as I'm working. And um, like I said, in case you don't believe me, it'll hold the Wii U <laughs> controller as well. So you can just tap, 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 and play. Have it on a table next to you, whatever. It's uh, not a perfect fit, but it does fit. And uh, as for Switch, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. It's, it's fantastic for Switch. And my Switch will be right here in front of me. So when you mention things, I can kind of have a peek. I see Featured. Oh, great deals. Featured. Great deals. Best sellers coming soon. Ew, is Great Deals the new name for the on sale section? The sales? I think the sales section should remain called sales section. Great Deals makes no sense to me at all. 
That sounds to me like a price, like a game that's a really great price. That's priced really well. That's a great deal. Um, and the sale, something totally different. A sale, something that's being sold for less than usual. The price has been temporarily reduced. They should, uh, I don't know. I don't like that tab at all. What do you think? You guys like me bigger or smaller? Like, am I in the way? Right there, I'm pretty big. I don't know. Well, I can't see you guys. That's lame. Yeah, check out uh, Amazon for Moco Stand. There's a lot of imitators now, but um, they're the original. So here we are. It's morning. And we can now open the new store. Let's do that. So we go to town. And they're going to get Larry Taylor. So we're basically investing in that store. It's going to be open. Just fine. Awesome. I can make it smaller or bigger. I don't care. My camera's way high. How did you know that? What do you mean he'll reduce the price? Say that again. Where? Who will? My switch almost never leaves the hybrid case. It's an absolute must own for the switch, if you ask me. My hybrid case, I think, is downstairs at the moment because I just I have it on this stand. <laughs> but you can't change it good in tabletop mode. Um, the hybrid case, that's the um, is it the power A one? So that's the one I have. I have a review of that on my site as well. But it has like the three notches you can put it on. I like it because it'll it, it's it'll stand up on anything like your pillow, you know, a table, wherever you are. It'll it'll kind of kind of hold up. I think it's pretty darn good. Works in your shop. That and uh, I like the fact that I can fold it up and then just dump it somewhere. Not worry about the screen getting scratched or anything. I just or the case getting scratched. Just throw it in my bag. I'm really surprised it's not with me. I think it is downstairs. I very seldom take it out, even to put it on this case. But I've been tinkering so much with Pokemon while doing other things lately on the Switch that it's here in the case. D uh, Dave, what do you mean about shaking and working in my shop? Are you pulling my leg or what? Tell me what to do. First off, let's go check out the new shop. The retailer. Is that what you're talking about? So here's the retailer. Is that a boy or a girl? Really? Yeah, it's a little weird in high handheld mode, but you can do it. I like it for its stand. Here, but, oh, there's a text from my daughter. Okay, Julian, what do you want to sell me? Should. Uh, hold on, guys. Sorry. I gotta check something. My daughter wants money. She's in school and always wants money. can't get her to, uh, oh my god, I'm using the wrong controller. Sorry. Oh. So here we go, now we can buy stuff. Log me in, will you? Trying to check my daughter's balance, but the app's not working. All right, there we go. Sorry, guys. I've got an adult. Yeah. Summer daughter's in summer school. No, she's in regular school. She's in high school. I have one daughter in middle school, and uh, one daughter in high school. 
steal and sell. Oh, God, sorry. I was, because I was talking about getting the shop in the game. And I was thinking of, uh, of the game, yes. So if I open up my Switch and I go to the eShop and I go to the good deal, and I just shake my head and, you know, add him at the, the Switch, my, it'll give me a better deal. So here's the shop. He's got ingredients, basically. So if I want to make, like, a new sword, I can buy the ingredients to do it. So let's go ahead and plan on getting a new weapon. Let's do that. Okay, I think that's one of the things we need to get focused on is having a, a game plan. You can see I've got health right now. So we need a better sword, right? This one's going to take the purple, that white thing, and whatever that other thing is. It looks like an actual whole sword. Big sword. I, I guess it's the big sword. That's what it is. So I need the big sword first. I, I have... I need 10 of those purple things, 15 of those blue things, and 5 broken uh, whatevers. Add to wish list. So square. It's on my wish list. What I don't like is you'll notice it doesn't actually give me the names of the item. Just the picture. Purple, blue, and sword. So let's go ahead and attempt to make that sword by getting the ingredients in the dungeon. And then we'll buy whatever, when we come back, whatever we don't have, we'll use the money to buy. And I think that's going to help us get through this a lot. <laughs> so let's do that. Now it's the first time I'm going into the dungeon with an actual plan. Any of you remember what the plan was, though? The broken swords, those purpley things, and those blue things. I think that was it. Dave, I like funny. Funny is good. <laughs> funny is my style. Right. But I'm saying, like, how, how come it doesn't uh, give you the names of the ingredients you need? Just pictures. That's stupid. <laughs> so let's go ahead and find them. Let's find the ingredients we need. And if we can't, we'll, we'll buy them. Man, nobody wants to watch this game. Hey, guys. I see there's some new face. Uh, the numbers keep going up and down. So many people come in and out. Oh, wow. A new environment. Look at that. What? What? Where did that come from? So many people come in and out and never say anything. Like, no need, guys. Say hello. And uh, please be a pal and hit the subscribe button. I'm really desperate for my 1,000 subscribers. What does this move weirdo movement do? Nothing? Let's go over here. Now, don't let me die because I have health now. Oh, for crying out loud. That's it. Yeah. I guess so, maybe. I see what you're, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. The fact that there's no text to be translated. The, du the dungeon seems quite... Dude, it's, sometimes it's really hard to get an enough distance to hit them if you're too close. A lot of times the strike just won't register on them. It's really strange. Again, I'm using a terrible weapon. I don't know if it gets better once you get a better weapon. I'm still on the starter sword if you think about it. It's like playing Breath of the Wild. Like, you know, the first like two hours when you really... Where everything is like a life and death challenge. Maybe I'm just kind of in that zone still. Ugh these stupid levels. Blah, blah. I'm not reading that. Sorry, guys. I'm not even remotely interested in what that has to say. Hire someone to create a slideshow of artwork and then do a voiceover and give me a little backstory. That I'd be into. 
So we needed a bunch of broken swords I don't have. Oh, look. Because I wish listed it, the items that I, I need are being checked. See, that's got a star on it because I needed those. I think that's what's happening there. It's putting a star on items that I find for the item that's on my wish list to, to make. I do think that's what just happened. Let's see that. That's a broken sword piece. Yes, it's got a star on it too. It's not telling me though that I have enough. You know, but it's telling me that that's the item I need. Very interesting. I'll tell you what I need is more life or better defense or both. Oof. I have a shield, but man, it's worthless. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There's the healing thing, of course, right after I used my potion. But I have four potions left, so we're good. I don't actually remember how to use the shield. Alright, we're almost full and we don't have what we need. Which is fine. We're going to go back and sell this crap. <coughs> Shit! <sighs> Sell this crap and uh Oh look. More swords. But you see this is the kind that has to be on the right side of the map. Explain to me why. I can't figure that part out. Where'd my backpack go? I can't tell if it's a glitch or I've just been confused. But you'll notice the backpack disappeared. Oh, there it is. Ooh. I'm going to part two of the dungeon. There are uh, three point three parts to this dungeon. This is part two. Ugh. We are definitely not equipped properly to really do well in this game. I can't actually hurt that guy. I think it's time to get out of here. We have 19 of 20 slots. Him I was able to hurt. Whew. Ooh. I, I, I got something special. Look. Item remains hidden while currently in dungeon. Oh, we are so getting out of here. Let's go to the dungeon and check it out. I mean, go to the shop, sell some stuff, buy a new sword. Hello, new watcher. Please uh, click the subscribe button if you don't mind. Click the thumbs up if you don't mind. <laughs> don't be shy. Do say hi. I don't bite. First things first, we're going to make some money. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's sleep and then open shop. <laughs> so it's going to save. And now it's daytime. Here goes. Oh, what was that item? We had an item that we didn't know what it was. They said it wouldn't tell us till we left the shop. It was very special. I don't see it. Is it the light essence? Jeez, I really didn't get as much as I thought I did. What did I need, guys? This, this, and that. So we won't sell those. <laughs> this is our clearance bin. So we can throw junk that we have like way too much of into here, like these roots that are worth nothing. We throw them into there and they sell real cheap. 
So it's like extra slots, but but they sell for peanuts. But those gold bars, he got he golden eyes. So I think we can sell them for more this this time. Watch. This is the first time I really paid attention. He thought it was a great deal. So we're gonna pump those up twenty. Yeah, but what was the special item in my backpack that it wouldn't tell me until I left the the dungeon? Do you guys know what that was? Was that the broken swords? I thought it would be something like rare or unique. So let's see if we get the golden eyes, like the the great deal react again for those still those bars now that I raised the price. He's uh, still golden eyes, even after raising the price. Petals, too. <clears throat> so I have to adjust the price on petals in those bars. Oh, sorry, lady. This is a new item. I don't know what these are worth. No, don't leave, idiot. Is the gold eyes mean it's a rare item, or does it mean that the price was really excellent? Yeah, I had a feeling that was rare, too. <laughs> that one right there. That's it, man. That's our whole collection sold, because I lost... I lost so much. Um... My first time through when I died sucks. Hey guys, four likes. Thanks, man. Sold cheap. That's what I thought. All right, so you need to raise the price when you see that. Um, all these likes, please hit the subscribe button. Sub to my channel. Help me get to my 1,000 subscribers so we can get uh, super chat and more importantly, so we can get um, <clears throat> the community community tab, monetization, and the community tab. We don't need super chat. If you guys ever want to donate to the feed, you can use my uh, Streamlabs link, which is in the description below here. When you click on more, <laughs> because YouTube's going to take takes like forty percent of super chats anyway. But uh, the community tab would be awesome, and monetization would be awesome. Then I could do more pre-recorded videos and video reviews. <clears throat> Uh, YouTube sucks. All right, so we have 2,600 bucks. Here's what we're going to do. This guy's going to make us our sword. Hmm. Oh, man, we need 15. We only have four. So we just go over to the shop, the retailer, and buy them. Is she closed? The retailer is sleeping, right? Loser. Right, let's go to bed. It's weird how many viewers come and go and don't ever actually say anything. Hello. I think people expect a lot more exciting game out of this. This is not what I expected. All right, so. Okay, put the star on what we need. That's cool. But I had enough of those. It really should only show me the star on what I didn't have enough of. All right, guys, back me up. It was these I didn't have enough of, right? No, it was these. Oh, there's only nine? How many did I need? Anybody remember?
Yeah, she probably is that stupid pitch. She's collecting all my crap from when I died. I'm like one of those skeletons that we find that's all like, you know, with the letter. All right, how many of those did I need? 10? 15? 11. I was going to stop at 10. You know, what am I going to do without you guys? <laughs> you guys are the brain of this operation. No, I needed a 15. Where'd you come up with 11 from? Why do I even talk to you? I'm gonna put you in timeout just for that. <laughs> Crap. All right. Oh man. Um, these, right? Is there a way to buy more than one at a time? Oh, I thought you said I needed like 11 additional. I mean, 11 total. Oh, look, I've. I'm a wa wasteful merchant. Apparently, I've just wasted a ton of money, according to them. I really don't care. It's not like we're not going to have to grind in the dungeon again anyway, right? So there's a sword, it has a star, that means we can get it. So there's our first big sword. Crap on my screen. So we did it. We've got the big sword. Next is either the Vulcan's for the the Buster big sword or the Rock big sword. Plus 62 minus 10, plus 50 and an at sign. Anybody know what the at sign means? Let me guess. Chad knows. He knows everything. Chad's like a walking news reporter. That's not a bad thing. <clears throat> Let's um, wish list that one. So now we've got the big sword, right? Is it automatically equipped? No, it's not. Now it is. Oh, there's no shield though anymore. Is that what, what the case is? At and at. I don't know if you, you'll notice here there's an at sign. What looks like an at sign at least next to the weapons. Next one and two. So I wonder if it has like an alternate uh Oh, there you go. If it comes with like an alternate attack or something. Let's uh Let's dive into the dungeon with the new the new sword. Except we don't want to go in without any extra life. So we have to visit the hat first. So there's definitely a bit of like, you know, your preparation. You do the store and then you spend some time doing some preparation before going into the dungeon. You don't just like blindly dive into the dungeon and then repeatedly die over and over again like we did a million times. So potions. Hey, the potions are cheaper today. Look. Yeah, I mean, everyone's everyone's trying to do their little get their Zelda on these days. That's okay. I mean, if you're gonna take inspiration, I guess you might as well take inspiration from the best, right? As long as it's not like. Um, Ocean horn straight up rip off, you know. All right, so now we've got health and we've got the big sword. Holy crap, did you see that? <clears throat> it looks kind of slow. Who's watching, man? Don't be shy, say hello. Do subscribe also. Chad and Dave. Does it count me? Maybe it's just the three of us. I'm not very popular, I guess, huh? I suck. Oh, let's do a Google share. Maybe that'll be cool too, huh? Let's share this on Google. Moonlighter on PS4. 
Join me. Posted. I don't know where that went. <laughs> Alright, here goes. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting tired of this same dungeon. But at least now we know what we're doing. Ooh, a book. Now we know what we're doing. Like, we're looking for ingredients for specific things to build. Swords, defenses, etc. Golem volume, huh? So, like, you know, now we've got some bit of a point to our play. Although I don't know if I should have been looking for the next sword yet. If I should have instead been looking for the next defensive uh, upgrade. Because I really don't live very long. Like, we take damage so hard. Like, so quickly we take damage. I don't think we have enough life or enough defense. But, yeah, this sword does make a difference. Alright, we know those bars are worth a ton of money. Still don't understand why this has to be on right or left. Backpacks like bigger than him. Look, <clears throat> a dead end. Great. There we go. What do you mean, buddy? What I missed something? I like puzzle elements. This, this game could use some puzzle elements, like push this block, turn that wheel, step on this pressure plate, you know, and the door opens. Like, it can use that. have rupees in them, huh? What a surprise. Hey, is that me? Look, it's me laying on the ground with my backpack, isn't it? Or someone that like me? No, I don't like what just happened there. Alright, this is going to take us to section two. Some items you collect will destroy the thing next to them when you leave the dungeon. Oh. Interesting. So let's see what we have here. We've got the bars. We have one item for the next sword so far. Alright, still can't fight him. I like how he picks it up. We need, uh, yeah, like different types of attack, like shooting attacks. Ooh, we healing. We are healing. Are you guys Splatoon players? My best, my most popular feeds have been Splatoon feeds. People have really been playing with me and sending me tons of friend requests to play together. But I, I just can't play Splatoon, like, or Fortnite, like, all the time. You know, there's so many other great games to play. But as you can see right now, like, no one watches when I play other stuff. But I, was, I don't remember if you guys played Splatoon with me or not, because uh, that was kind of a ton of fun. New enemies, look. These hands are new. I love Splatoon 2. Dude, it doesn't matter if you're bad. Splatoon 2 is fun about how bad you are. It's all about, um, it's all about contributing to your team. You know what I'm saying? 
you need to try out all the different weapons and find one that suits your play style. Like, I'm not good at shooting people. I'm just not. Like, I'm going to die every time I try to, you know, take the shooters on. So I play with a roller, and that's how I contribute to my team. I put down massive coverage with the roller. I avoid confrontation, and I make paths as quickly as I can, like, all the way across the level. So people can either squid across the level or super jump into the enemy turf and start painting. So that's how I contribute, and I'm worth something, even though I'm not the best shooter. You know, some people hide and snipe. Uh, so it, it's, it's a lot of fun, but don't feel like you have to play all the different weapons and be changing all the time. And then get your clothes and your sub-weapons set up. Yeah, they should. I, will not, I won't play any game that has a hacker problem. I'm not doing it. And ki uh, people today ruin everything. They don't care about winning or, or fun. They just want to cheat. Like, who cares if I have fun as long as I win by cheating? But, sorry, cheating is losing. You cheated, you lost. Alright, I'm getting greedy. I have to leave this dungeon soon before I lose everything. But anyway, and then, um, so for example, I use the, uh... Oh, that's gonna be the third section of the dungeon. I use the roller, so I use for my sub-weapons, I use... Sub-weapons, you know, for my shirt and my hat, you know, the sub... The sub things you can get, sub abilities. I use sub abilities that make my my main weapon use less ink. I use sub abilities that make my main weapon um, collect ink faster. And I use sub abilities that make me faster, because avoiding conflict and painting as quickly as I can is is what I do with a roller. So those sub abilities help me. So that's how you get better in Splatoon is just figuring out how you want to play, uh, mastering the weapon that's best for it. And then uh, getting your sub abilities set up for it. What just happened? Well, I got something. And this is the third section of the dungeon, so the boss will be here. But I'm super dead, and I don't think I should stay. Oh, look! It's a new amulet. That's what it is. Look, I've got a secondary amulet. Uh, cost me 2,000 gold to what? To unlock it? Is that what it is? We are, we're going to get out of here, and we're going to check that out. There's no reason to stay here and risk losing everything that we have. Bye! <clears throat> you see how much further we got? How much more easily? Look, it's a new pendant. I think the next time we go in, we'll be ready to... Uh, hey, buddy. Yeah, we played this for a couple hours yesterday, too. I wanted to play the Long Reach today. I finally got my key for Long Reach. Took them forever to get me one. I figured I'd give this a shot before I, I shelve it. Especially because yesterday, after like two hours of sucking. New item. Spend 2k to escape, but leave a door to return to that point. Oh. how did I, I don't know how I could activate it, though. How do you use it? Hey, maybe there's wild Pokemon in here. So you're saying I could have, I could basically set up a portal right back to that third section of that dungeon. That's a game changer, man, if that's the case. That means I could get myself well equipped and then shoot right in that third area and go after the boss. So we might actually complete this dungeon soon, knowing, knowing that we have that ability now. You know, the next time I go in, I would definitely um, maybe leave on purpose. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying I could, we could have done it. Oh, it would have, I got you. If I had the 2000, it would have been highlighted, right? So maybe I could go in and leave on purpose. That way I could get myself all healed up, buy all the new stuff, and then go after the boss. That, interesting. Let's sell some crap, shall we? Not this. This is the only item that we actually found that we need for the new sword. So we'll just buy what we need after we sell our stuff. Very cool. I still don't get the point of this clearance box. Like, why would I put stuff in here uh, for 70% off? Like, here, that. I, I don't really see the point of a sale box. I just lower the price and put it on the table. But then I guess I'm wasting a spot on my table. The thing is that everything in this game is so expensive. All the upgrades and unlocks are so expensive that you 
You really have to grind a lot. I mean, I'm still on the first dungeon. Yeah, this is Moonlighter side. I uh, didn't think I was getting a key for this, and then all of a sudden it showed up. I'd rather the Switch version. Oh, she likes the deal on that on those gold things, huh? I'll have to raise the price next time. As you see how quickly you sell things as you start to get a hold of, a hang of it. But we didn't do very good as far as value goes in that last trip through the dungeon. I mean, some last uh, yesterday I sold like five thousand dollars in one one day. Today we made like only a couple hundred, but it's not over yet. We're still racking in some cash here. Oh yeah. So. sell all that then we're gonna buy the ingredients for that next sword after that it's time to go after defense a better shield and, and whatnot because man or more life I mean I am just take a few hits and it's all over the uh, the boss of the dungeon the one time I had found it killed me in one shot oh man he likes that deal again huh I have to raise the price again My pricing's on point right now. <laughs> she likes the price of that too, huh? So giving crap away too cheap. I suck. Sorry, I have nothing else left to sell. These I, I keep because I make life out of them. I don't know what this book does. Let's sell it. For a whole bunch of money first. <laughs> Should I be selling that book? Is that a mistake? Was that something special? Oh, there it goes. All right, book is gone. Day is over. Twenty nine hundred bucks we made in the end. We sleepy poos. You guys bored to death? Should I end this stream or should we play a little longer? Because I don't, I don't know how many more people are coming in to hang out with me. It just doesn't look like uh, this game is uh, burning down the house as far as web traffic goes. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I meant to, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ew, it's nighttime because I opened and closed the shop. Is that what just happened? It went straight to nighttime? Jeez. I have to sleep again. Alright, let's try this again. My bad, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like one more trip to the to the dungeon so here we are we got the new sword I don't know if I should be ditching it so quickly maybe I should go after something that gives my me defenses I mean I could buy all that stuff fairly cheap it's not terribly expensive I need mean, one of those whippy things and three of those other things See how it says at? Let's look at the defenses. Let's look at this, this here. I know it's a combo. It's a shield and a sword, but I just want the shield. <laughs> this is some kind of spear. Gloves. Bow and arrow. See, that's something we definitely want soon. 
I think we want that, but... Oh, plus 80 health. Holy crap. Plus 40 health. Plus 30 health plus speed. Oh. Let's go after health for sure. You guys want to go after health or defense? What do you think? Actually, all these things are just... Are not defense. They're attack. How do you upgrade your defense? Weird. Oh! Jeez, I didn't... How did I not notice this? Oh, because they don't all have it. This one does. But they still don't upgrade my defense. They upgrade speed and health. It doesn't seem to. It seems to be very repetitive, honestly. Um, you know, load out your character, run your shop, chase the dungeon. That's what it seems to be the way it goes. Plus 50, plus 8 speed, plus 80. We're going to go for this. Let's go buy what we need and get our, our health increased by 80 points. What a ripoff it's going to be, but... It saves me grinding and making you guys stuck here while I grind to death. Oh, crap. I don't remember how much of anything I needed. Do you guys? Oh, he doesn't have any of the stuff. He's only got um, the one item, this. Yeah, I don't think there's any special days, like, you know, Animal Crossing style. But it sure wouldn't hurt for there to be. Doesn't have those other two ingredients. That's a plus 30. Did he have those? Do you guys recall? That's a plus 40. Oh, we can get this one. Let's do this one. It's dead. Not that one. Pretty sure he's got all those. I know we definitely find them all. So here we go. I just don't remember how much I'm supposed to have. Do you guys? Boy, is that expensive. Oh, I feel bad. I gotta go back and check. I wish since it was on my wish list, I could bring it up and see what I need. Maybe you can, but it's not clear. Six, four, and three. Oh, I bought the wrong thing. Oh, because the sword is still on my wish list. Oh, darn it. Let's take the sword off for now. Six, four, and three. So I need four of those uh, purple things. And four more of those bar things. That's easy. We have to go into a dungeon for that, though. Because we're out of money. Yeah, but we sold all that crap. Oh, what? That collar thing? Is that what I'm wearing? The iron helmet? Would it let me buy the same on a second time? You might be right. Let's have a look. I do already have this one. That's why this one is open. You're 100% right. So I need to get this one, which will open up this one. Or I need to go after this one. So let's collect ingredients for to try to get one of those two. Let's do that. Whichever comes first. You're a smart man. You're a smart man. That's why I play with you. Do you guys have any friends who would join these streams? Yeah. 
It's lonely. <laughs> Time is it? I'm gonna do like another few minutes, and I have to bust on this. Play something that more people want to watch. Battery low, nice. All right, so Golem Dungeon. So here we go. Got our new sword. Oh, he doesn't hold the shield, so it's the one who holds the shield that we can't get past. You'll notice we came in without life. So we made a huge mistake. We forgot to buy the life. So our main goal here is to find crab we can sell to buy the ingredients we need for the new defensive item. I mean, of course, our priority would always to find them naturally, but we don't find a whole lot in these early in this early dungeon. I think we just need to really get past this early dungeon. I'm just not sure it's supposed to take me this long. I think I really suck at this game. <laughs> I mean, holy cow, I've been this is the second day. We're still on the first of first dungeon. I mean, I think there's only like five of them. But still. Oh man. We are so screwed. Oh, look, we found an ingredient we need. Two, three ingredients we need. So I'm going to bounce if I'm at risk of dying, because I think I'm already at risk of, <gasps> of dying. Beautiful. Just sometimes the universe throws you a bone. Wow. This sword has a lot better range than the last sword. I can attack from much further away. And doing so made a big, big, big difference. How about that? <gasps> nice. Up or left? What do you think? You know, yesterday I streamed like four different games. And uh, at the end of the day, I was down a subscriber. <laughs> down a subscriber. I lost a subscriber. I was so disappointed. You guys Fortnite players by any chance? All right, so we have one, two, three, four of the ingredients needed. I just don't know, you know, like if we need a lot more. I don't know how many we need, I don't remember. But we'll continue, right? I guess we should continue. Oh, you notice it doesn't heal you as much the second time. So we're probably going to bounce and go after that defensive thing. Because I think once we get some better... Not defensive, life. Once we get some more life, maybe we can consider going after that emboss. Maybe. Takes him a bit of time to turn around. I like co-op myself, but uh, there's something fun about it. I, I I don't really care for the game terribly. Oh no 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 no! I just sold stuff. Some of the more ingredients I needed. That's what I intended to do. Hold the pendant button and escape. And instead, I automatically trade stuff into the mirror. Why? <laughs> I'm not big on PvP either, but it can be fun. Um, I mean, I used to really love... Uh... Oh, Fortnite's definitely coming to Switch. If you don't think Fortnite's coming to Switch, i got news for you. It's 100% coming to Switch. <clears throat>
Dave knows what's up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna show you how I play Fortnite. This is how I play Fortnite. That's, that's how I play Fortnite. <clears throat> I have the PC version and the PS4 version, but when I play, I play on the PS4. Uh, it runs really well. It's very smooth. It plays well. It's not a hard game to understand. It's actually pretty easy to play. But, um, I mean, I just get my ass kicked. I don't stand a chance when I play Fortnite. I mean, I don't stand a chance. But so many people are just so into the game. So many players that I figured I might as well play. It will help me grow my channel a little bit. But I, I just basically hide and move and hide. And I take secondary place quite a few times that way. So let's see if we can get that new upgrade. By selling stuff. But not the stuff we need. Yeah, you can do it. You know, I, I just can't kill anybody. <laughs> it's the best way. Just hide, man. I take second, third place by hiding. And then as soon as it's, I'm forced to fight, I just kind of come out into the open uh, and die. But one day I'll get better. When, when it does come to Switch, I'll probably get the... Uh, the battle pass for it. I think it's like 10 bucks just so I can get like, you know, some new like characters and just decorate decorative items and shit. I'm fine with that. Why not? But uh, we'll just see how it turns out once it comes to switch. Yeah, but how did you die if you never saw anyone else? Chad, are we friends on PS4? Maybe we should jump into uh, Fortnite together sometime when I, when I do a live stream. I'm having a terrible shop day. My items are still underpriced. Oh, you sniped. I'm raising them. Oh, but you won? You said you came in sixth. You must have died. Eventually, unless you're playing with a team. Right, no, even with a team you must have died, right? Anyway, like, I do like the PS4 version a lot. Um, I've, I've upgraded. I've leveled up quite a bit. It's just the kind of game after like two or three rounds. You know, I'm done. Like, I don't want to play all day. I don't want to play 10 hours long. Play two or three rounds, you're done. It is the same thing over and over again. You know, parachute in. You know, hide, shoot, hide, shoot, run, hide. Over and over. I don't know. Like, these people who play hundreds of games, thousands of games. I don't see why. Like, why are they not tired of this game? Why don't they want to play something else? It, it confuses the crowd out of me. But to play, like, you know, here and there, yeah, it's okay. Not terrible to play here and there. Yeah, good call on the Vita. All right, so you don't have, like, a PS4. Or, like, an Xbox One. I have a PS4. I have four PS3s. Uh... I think four Xbox 360s, maybe five, um, six Wii's, but I don't have a, an Xbox One. I just never felt the need, though I love Halo. But if I had to pick one uh, between all of them, that's the Switch, hands down. It's no no brainer there. Switch all day for me. So when Fortnite does get announced for Switch, and it will, we'll see how it holds up, how it performs, how it runs, make sure everything's cool. If everything's on the up, and it should be, because I hear the game runs great on mobile, like on iOS. So if it runs great on iOS, it'll run great on Switch. And, uh, you know, that means I could sit outside uh, at a park with my Switch and a Wi-Fi and drop in for a few rounds with my friends, you know, to kill people and hide and whatnot. Kind of sounds fun. 
Problem is I'll have to level up all over again or buy the battle pass separately because I don't think this, it transfers. Like if I was to start on Switch, I'd be starting all over again. My PS4 progress is all lost. That makes me kind of sad. Obviously, the PS4 version will perform probably better, but you know, having the portability is such a strong selling point. <laughs> Alright, that was a quick day at the office. Look at the money I just made. Let's go ahead and see if we can make that thing. No, it's nighttime automatically. That frustrates me. Uh, I think there's like a $10 battle pass. I know there are bigger ones, but there's like a, like, kind of like a starter pack. I think it gives you like three new characters. Some, some, um, I don't want the technical term. I think they call them something, but they're like outfits. I think there's a name, skins. I think you get a couple of skins. I think you get a couple of different like parachutes when you're parasailing. Instead of the, just the default one, I think you can use like different types of parasails, things like that. So, you know, it sounds like fun. Right As it is right now, I get a random character and just the, the basic uh, power gliding sailing thing. And I have no skins and whatnot. All right, so we're trying to build this or this. So let's go see if he's got four of those map things. You know how many of those map things I found in previous trips to the dungeon, but today I didn't find any? He's got him. Holy crap. Anybody, you guys uh, catch how much I needed? <laughs> I think I needed four. You're gonna be kidding me. I still can't get it. It's gonna give me more speed. I don't even want it. It's gonna give me more speed, but less uh, health. Look, I'm gonna go from 40 to 30. And the upgrade here gives me 80. This upgrade is only gonna give me 60, which I already have 40. So I'm not sure I really care about the speed so much, do I? I think I just want the life. Look at the difference. This is a pain in the neck. Definitely more trips to the dungeon are required. Well, bottom line is it's this game is a lot of grinding. I mean a lot. You gotta be kidding me. There's so much grinding. I'm gonna have to go back into the dungeon a, a million more times and try to find You know, all these items. Twenty thousand. Uh, that's for like skins and stuff. This guy's a banker, so he'll invest your money. That's kind of interesting. Well, what are these shop upgrades? I forgot about all these. Items in this cell box have a discount of 60%. Items in 75, 60, 50. So you can get this additional box. But they all discount what you're selling. I don't understand the benefit of that. An iron cash register, you get a 10% tip for everything you sell. 20% tip, 40% tip. Oh. Shop level two. New showcases, more decoration spaces. Brand new quest point, so merchants can receive custom requests. A shop assistant. Oh. New beds. This is kind of cool. I would like to go after those things. So there's a lot of things to go after, a lot of little upgrades that kind of might make the grinding a little more fun. Yeah, 44,000, is that all? That's all, no big deal, right? 
Should I go back in or should I kill the feed, guys? It's only you three and I don't think anybody else is coming. So you decide if you want to take one more run at this dungeon or if I should just pull the plug for today and call it a day. Obviously, uh, this is going to probably be my last Moonlighter stream because no one gives a crap. <laughs> I think next I'll have to jump into Fortnite. I wonder if anyone would watch the... What's it called? I just got the Lone Dark. Not the Lone Dark. Let me check. I got a laundry list of stuff. I'm supposed to be playing. I don't remember what half of it is. Ooh, the elusive forest has shown up. What's it called? The Long the Long Reach. That's what I just got. The Long Reach. A little late to the party. I kind of wanted it already. So the forest has shown its face. They have terrible aim, but look, they give me stuff I can't get elsewhere. He's so slow. But he's strong. But again, it gives me stuff I can't get elsewhere. And straight to the healing pool. It's like a 2D horror game, I think. Give me a sec, I'll show you it. Oh, I can beat the guys with the shields now. Okay. Let's see, can I pause this? Um Let's see, hold on a second. Window capture. Um, um, that's Chrome. Long reach. Don't mind me, I'm trying to do something real quick for you. All right, so I think you're seeing this window. Um, for long reach. The pictures look really dark, but it's like this story driven 2D like horror game. This isn't the best site in the world to show it to you. It's got all these really dark pictures that aren't showing up well. Adventure game filled with colorful character colorful characters, puzzles, and and a shock of discovery. Blah blah blah. Horror, thriller, hellbent on screwing with your perception. It, stunning pixel art, gruesome and unsettling images. Solve puzzles, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Probably sucks, but sounds interesting. At least to a degree. I don't know. I went back in without getting life again. But I got those jellies, which are great for making life. Har, I love Har. Har is like my favorite. Well, this is going to be our last trip to the dungeon for today. The grinding is just isn't for me. Like, I'm very patient, but man, the amount of grinding required is really a lot. 
I've been playing Pokemon Quest. I want to talk about grinding. I don't know how many grinding games I can handle at one time. At least Pokemon Quest, they fight by themselves. <laughs> I think I might have screwed up a bit. I should have been maybe collecting a lot, as much money as I could and getting the shops and upgrades open. Because I have a feeling once that happens, like all this stuff that feels like a ton of money suddenly won't be a ton of money. Ooh, rare item. So I took it. Oh, there's so several of them. I'm so confused. Can I stack this? Right? I want to stack this. So I couldn't stack it. to leave things behind. I have three of the same item, though. What a waste of space in my inventory, isn't it? This game blows. I don't know how else to put it. Jeez. Now it's taking up four of my inventory slots. Does anybody know how to stack? Like say stack this to that. No, 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 the mirror is happening again. Ah, oh, darn it. I can't play this game anymore. This is a terrible game. It just sent my stuff to the mirror instead of the, the pendant to send me out of the dungeon. Usually you hold the button down and it sends you out of the dungeon, but the last two times I did it, it didn't work, and it was trading my stuff in instead. All right, guys, final day. Selling my crap. And then out of here. Do not like this game. Do not enjoy it. The, uh, the controls are terrible. The interface is terrible. The combat's terrible. And it's just repetitive, 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 repetitive. Is that what it is? I didn't have enough money to use the pendant to leave? You're smarter than me, dude. I can't ever figure this out. Again, it's probably because I'm keeping up a conversation at the same time as playing. I didn't realize you had to use money to escape all this time. Oops. This game still sucks. <laughs> Crappy crap. How many subscribers did I gain during this feed? I'm thinking zero. Ooh, she's happy with the price of that. That's I got that from the forest. So we need to raise those prices. That's all I brought back that wasn't on the list of materials to make weapons.
You see how these are all the same item? It's taken up like seven slots in my inventory. There's got to be a way to uh, stack them. Oh, I raised the price and she still gave it the golden smile. How about that? guys sorry don't be mad at me don't be mad we need to talk to him see if we can get any of this stuff so we can get that it'll give us plus 30 and then plus 8 although it's actually 10 less life than we already have that sword requires 5 of those those are easy to get that whippy thing I don't know how you get that those are easy to get. A training spear, gloves, bow and arrow. That would be fun. Let's go after the bow and arrow instead of this. So we're gonna see if we can get the bow and arrow. That might be help us from taking so much damage all the darn time. But we definitely need more health. And we definitely need um some of the upgrades, like the cash register upgrade and whatnot. Oh five, that's the most we've had. Hey guys, hit the subscribe button if you'd like. I'm trying to reach my one thousand subscribers, but totally appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button and join up and say hello. Oh, my bad. I didn't open the shop. I was too busy talking and telling you to subscribe. So the shop's open and we're going to sell some stuff, but not much. We don't have much money. We didn't, we didn't do very good in the dungeon last time. I want that 10% tip register upgrade that basically basically everything will give us 10% more than it sells for. That can add up in a hurry. I'm not selling those. I don't think I need that many though, do I? It doesn't actually tell you how many you need. Sell one. Ooh. That's it. That's the whole shop. Sold out. I think that's a good deal, huh? Shop's closed by guys bust out of here. Bust the heck out. Hello, chair bear. We are uh, moments from ending our live stream, unfortunately. Been here suffering through Moonlighter for the past two hours. Let's see. Uh, darn it. The shop upgrade. Chair bear in the house. So, oh, I need 60,000 for shop level two. Then I can get the cash register upgrade. Is that it? <clears throat> Am I right there? Do I have to do the, do I have to do this first to do this? I don't think so. Dude, it's relentless grinding. I mean, it's relentless. Six of those and ten of those. I mean, much better off going in the dungeon and getting them. Not just the 4K. You think I need the shop level two first? That's insane. Hmm. Alright, these are cheap. 
So we'll buy these and get the bow and arrow. I just don't remember how many I needed. Stupid. Oh, to avoid some grinding, I'm buying these. How many were they? Do you remember? Hi, Chair Bear. Ten? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, it's right, ten. I really want more health. And more defense. I mean I can't stand being so darn weak. It makes the adventure so stressful. Let's go see her. She can at least give me um potions. What's an enhancement do? Oh, remove it to plus 32? Oh, finally defense. Plus 15, that's the defense. It's her. You don't buy it. Oh, that makes sense now. Oh, please have those red things. Come on. Darn it, he doesn't have them. I sold all mine. Crap. So that's the secret to better defenses. Hey guys, there's six of you. If any of you aren't subscribers, please do me a favor and click the subscribe button. It should be floating over my ugly face on the opposite corner of the live stream. Here it goes. Bow and arrow. We've got it. The next bow, bow and arrow requires that stuff. That's not hard to get. So we're totally going to uh, wish list that. We've seen that stuff before. Plenty of it. No. Never. She was on yesterday for like two minutes. How many works? Seven days a week. A lot of times overnight. Morning, afternoon, night. I'm alone most of the time. You know that. I'm alone and lonely most of the time. <laughs> Alright, so we need those red things. Let's we'll do it. We're going to go in the dungeon again if you guys want. Oh, no, it's just me. I don't know why. Who the heck wants to look at me? There she is. <laughs> That's Cammy. The pictures look so crappy when they're that small. They don't come through very well. Of course, I have my stream on a very, very low resolution. Keeps my, uh, you know, just eat up my bandwidth. There she is. Come on, guys, click on Cammy. We need forced diversity. That's how the market works today. Yeah, tell me about it. Hold on, let me see. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything, then Twitter or YouTube will terminate my account because I'm a racist and a bigot and, and a homophobe and a this and that and everything else. So I'm not going to say anything. I should have even said that. I feel so darn sensitive. There's your diversity. You got me. And now I've become a girl. See? Just because. Because men are bad. Men are better bad. I must I must be a woman. So there, now I'm a woman. 
And it's been nice knowing you guys. Now that I'm gonna await them terminating my account because of my conservative views that were just mentioned. Oh, oh, the bone arrow. Hold on. How do I use it? Oh, I can't change. I can't change while I'm in here. Do you see that? It won't let me change. I'm dead. I didn't even buy life. I forgot to buy health potions from the from the uh, the hat. Ooh. Bow and arrow. There. Oh, it's those things. It's those things that we were looking for for the last upgrade. We found them. So there it is. Oh, look. Wow. Mm-hmm. After fighting, I am dying. I gotta find the health pool. Like, right now. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> Come on. Darn it to hell. Guys, there's no sense without having more life and more defense. It's an absolute waste. I need to get that done. I'm going to buy some potions real quick. But he can... Uh, see, th there's two of those things I just found. Let's see the witch real quick. <laughs> so I'm still laughing about our previous conversation. Oh man, they are so expensive. I got three. And we're going to go after enough stuff. For her to upgrade our defense. That's going to make a huge difference. Hey guys, please click the subscribe button. I see there's six of you. One of you has to not be a subscriber. Come on now, give me a new subscriber today. Be a pal. I've been streaming for two hours. I guess I should mention. It's time for me to uh, promote. If you go to playwithgreg.com, look for a Google ad. That is any ad that doesn't specifically say Amazon or Fanatical on it. Click on it. My page makes a few pennies. If you shop on Amazon or eBay or Humble Bundle or Fanatical, please uh, click on my affiliate link first. Any affiliate link works. Doesn't matter what you buy after you click on it. As long as you entered Amazon or Humble or eBay, or fanatical through one of my links or banner ads that say them so please do that be a pal help uh keep his feet alive mistake of not equipping the life again. I keep doing that. So let's equip that. Oh god. Not what I wanted. I wanted to equip it. How do I... Okay, here we go. 
Got it. But I have to choose. Oh, I can go back and forth. I got it. I just can't enter my backpack while I'm fighting. It took me this long to figure that out. Oh, I can collect the money from across the room. That is convenient. Yesterday, my website got two ad clicks. Made like 18 cents. So I'm rich now. I'll be retiring forever. There we go. For those of you wondering uh, that aren't talking or just watching, because there has been quite a few coming and going, we are still on the first dungeon. It's like six hours into this game and we're still on the first dungeon. It's seriously very sad, very pathetic, and very embarrassing. And we probably shouldn't talk about it or admit it out loud. Strafing button would be very handy in this game. Or diagonal shooting. We still haven't found... Oh, we did find them. Those are the three red things that we need to get the upgrades. So we're good to go. We can leave at any time. I have what we need. Oh, but I don't have enough money to use the amulet to escape. Is that correct, Mr. Chad? There it is also. So we may actually be screwed. And when you use the mirror to sell stuff, it sells it for pennies on the dollar. So total rip. Oh, nice. The forest is always full of valuable stuff. Get me out of here. Holy mackerel. I like this environment. I'm curious what the other environments do look like. Correct. So I only have 200. I have to sell almost everything I have. Is there a way to make it so I can't, so I won't sell certain things? Like, I don't want to sell that starred item. But I'm ready to leave. That's all I wanted. I wanted that starred item. That red item. Ah, oh, the pool. I must face it, there's no way we're going to beat this dungeon right now. Not until we use her for an enhancement. Had I realized that's how you get your defenses, I would have gone after that straight away. Oh, another red thing. <sighs> but I'm full. Oh, rich jelly. That's... Ah, uh, no. No, they're all called rich jelly. There's another type of jelly that you use for making a... Uh... No, it only needs 200, so we're good. Am I right? Yeah, they said they really wanted to go after. Um, more Switch stuff. So that's really cool. That they're taking the Switch so seriously. Alright, so there you go. Now I can collect that, and we are going to bounce. <laughs> yeah, a whole division on Switch for Switch. That's amazing. Now, keep in mind, it's going to take a long time to see the results of a lot of these changes and a lot of these de uh, developers who have gotten on board Switch. A lot of them got on board late to the party. So we're going to see the results down the road. And uh, a lot of the great, honestly, a lot of the great results we're seeing now 
are things that started during the Wii U days. They just started too late. And they ended up on Switch. All right, so let's see. what we need to make our upgrades here. Yeah, Power A. Power A makes a good product. I have their uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, Pro Controller, and it's, for the price, it's a great controller. It has no NFC, it has no rumble, and it's wired, and no motion controls at all. But for a $20 controller, it's a quality product. So there is hope that it won't be complete shit, you know? Crap, sorry. Here it is. Look, it'll upgrade me to 27. My big sword to 32. My bow and arrow to 20. But more importantly, it'll upgrade my defense from nil to plus 15. Oh, oh, and she wants 2,000 gold. Oh, what a surprise. I'm surprised it doesn't say, oh, would you like to buy a bundle of gold? Would you like to buy a sack of gold? For $1.99, you can buy a shoe case full of gold. All right, here we go. Selling, 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 selling. Yeah, those GameCube controls look nice. Are we going to make the $2,000? Is that going to happen? I don't think so. Oh, man. I undersold those again. That was those, right? I don't know how much they want me to sell them for. I'll keep uh, cranking the price up a bit and seeing. Those are junk. I want those. Jack up the prices some. Put my crap in this bin. Is there any crap? You have to wonder, making a GameCube controller, if they have any inside information we don't know about, about GameCube games coming to Switch. Each day I'm a little more profitable because I'm learning what things are costing. I'm learning their value, I'm learning what they're selling for, and I'm able to just eat the prices up. So each time we do go to a dungeon and come back and sell our crap, we're making more money. I want Nintendo to sell the Switch just as the tablet. No dock, no controllers, no plug, no cables, no Joy-Cons, just the tablet. I have four Joy-Cons and two Pro Controllers. I don't need any more controllers. I just want more of these. So you can set them up and have some multiplayer fun. And just use the controllers I have. You guys don't like the price for this? Really? I thought we were good on that. Fine. Be crabby then. I'm not making the 2000 unless she takes that. Come on. New price. Take the balls. Buy the balls. Oh. He took it. And... He's pleased. You guys want to go after the end boss? No collecting, no fighting, no exploring. Just go in that dungeon and see if we can find the end boss and see what happens. Yeah, I can't either. I really hope that... that um, Nintendo has found their brand, you know? They had it with the NES and they blew it. It's just the NES, the Super NES, they blew it by just getting too creative. 
and always trying to reinvent the wheel. I would really like them to switch as a household name. Now, I really like a Switch 2, a Switch 3, you know, uh, whatever they want to call it, Switch Pro, Ultra Switch, Super Switch, I don't care. But make another flipping Switch, not a new version of the wheel. Because the next iteration of the Switch, with more power and some hardware revisions, my God, you know, it's going to be amazing. Nintendo's track record with revising their, con their handheld consoles is excellent. They re the revision of the Game Boy Advance to the Game Boy Advance SP, brilliance. The DS Fat to the DSi and DS Lite, brilliance. The 3DSs, original 3DS to the newer 3DSs, I mean, they've really done a great job. So I just can't wait to see how they fix up the Switch and make a new Switch. Just don't call it new Switch, please. And uh, I would love a Switch XL. Here it goes. Our first defense upgrade has happened. And we can actually upgrade the sword or the bow and arrow. We have enough. Which one do you think we should upgrade? Oh, I need my money. What a surprise. But now my defense is up. Guys, this is my last trip to the dungeon. The grinding in this game is torture. <laughs> New Switch Excel. Let's die horribly at the hands of some unknown evil. Yeah, I'm down with that. Let me drop my crap off in a box. And we're just going to make a beeline for the end boss. I've only seen it once. Somehow I made it to it when I was early on in the first feed. And I died instantly. Oh, I could sell this stuff for some value, though. Right? I won't. Should we get more health? Let's get some health, just in case. What do we use for health? This, right? That. When companies make games. Yeah, look at cheap. Yeah, 2DS. I don't mixed feelings on a 2DS. It's cheap though. Potions. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright. We're gonna go in with two health potions. When companies make uh Developers develop for the DS, right? The sprites and the level design are created to look good on the smaller screen. You know what I'm saying? They know that this is the screen it's going to be seen on. And they develop the, the, the assets to be a good enough size and animation and whatnot to be easily viewable on it. And this is one of the things that developers need to work on with the Switch, is they're not doing that for Switch. So basically, the game, the, it's just like when you watch something on TV, right? It just gets bigger and smaller. So the games are just being shrunken down to, to fit the Switch screen. Problem is, they're developing the games in order to look good on a bigger screen, on a TV of some sort. So some of the games, when shrunken down to that tiny screen and placed in tabletop mode out in front of you, like on a stand like mine is, but they're just too small. Sometimes the characters are just big. The assets and sprites are this big. They're just too small. So, And that's one of the Switch's setbacks that really no one ever addresses. But it's true. What I'd like them to do is start creating... I don't know what to call it, but not handheld versions, obviously. I mean, you want to take the Switch out of the dock and have it be the same game. But have handheld modifications or customizations so... For example, when you're playing in handheld mode, your character sprite is a little bigger. Like the game knows and there's an alternate version of the character sprite that makes it bigger. Or loot drops that make those loot drops a little bit bigger. Just so they're more visible on the smaller screen. Because if they were making a handheld version of the game that's meant specifically to be played exclusively in handheld mode on the smaller screen, that's exactly what they do. So I think, to me, that's what I want to see Switch be doing. 
more than anything else right now. All right, so our defense has been improved. We should uh, hopefully take a little less damage now from bad guy attacks. I mean, it was only a plus 15. It wasn't like uh, some tremendous increase, but it is the first defensive increase so far. Hmm. Switching between the, the bow and arrow and the sword is surprisingly effective. Alright. We're going after the end boss, guys. Remind me, we're no fooling around. Just gonna get in and out of every level we can and keep looking for the exits. They're random, so. Good luck with that. All right, this one closed. I'm forced to fight. These are really slow enemies. He will not change the direction of his attack mid-attack, so super nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Can't even get near me. Going after the end boss. I'm making terrible decisions. Oh, the bone arrow is so helpful. Back we go. If you're someone who hasn't subbed to my uh, channel yet, please do. Please be a pal. is crap. The health is really crappy. We're not going to make it, guys. I'm doing terribly. It's the rushing and I think, you know. All right, I need to find the health the health uh, pool. Of course I find it cuz I just used the health potion. Going after the end boss. That means we got to find um, I think two doors, because it's a, two doors to the next level. I think there's three sections here. Ugh, I took a, a hit because I couldn't find the button to switch to the arrows. I don't know why. But yeah, look at them. They're so dumb. They just don't come near you if you stay far away and shoot the arrows. There we go. What? This guy gets the cheapest hits on you, man. Oh, look, there's the first exit right there. So that's the first one. We have to unfortunately keep moving. Crud. This guy's a huge pain. I thought the bow and arrow would hit him more easily than the sword. What's the deal with this guy? Come on. Cheap enemy. Cheap, cheap, cheap enemy. We have no life, right, that we can use? No. Oh, darn it. We are not making it to the end boss, guys. <laughs> Unless we find the healing, po the healing uh, pool again. And find it really soon. Oh no. And you hear that sound? That's the sound of our game being over.
they throw weapons. <sighs> Crap. Sorry, guys, I tried. We had a bail. I was never in a million years going to make it. I think that's the end of this stream. People keep coming and going, and my same loyal friends have been hanging with me the whole time. Unfortunately, not doing so well making it to my 1,000 subs. I haven't earned a single sub in the last two days of streaming. Not one. That's what I get for playing cool games like this, right? Instead of just playing the same crap over and over again. That's what people want. Why? I don't know. So now it's all about grinding again and getting more, you know, more upgrades, more defense upgrades, more attack upgrades, more weapon upgrades, and eventually the enemies will get less and less, of their attacks will get less and less effective. And my attacks will get more and more effective and I'll, I'll eventually sleepwalk, uh, sleepwalk through that first uh, dungeon. And then I guess the whole process starts all over again in the next dungeon. Remind you of Pokemon Quest, anybody? That's exactly how Pokemon Quest plays. That same kind of grind. You know, get things just right and then start all over and grind again. It's, eh, no. it's not terrible, but I don't know how much you want to grind and sell and grind and sell. It's... it's Not like the combat is terribly uh, fun to play or anything. I mean, the having the bow and arrow was kind of neat, I guess. And there's a spear I can get, too. Look, I mean, boy, do I need more money than this. I think those are worth more. Let's see. Those are still a great deal. I'll jack them up a little more next time. I'll make two grand. That will get me my next upgrade, I think, from her, from the witch. If I have the ingredients, which I don't think I do because I think I just sold everything. No, not everything. Just almost everything. Here we go. Here it comes. There's my two grand. Go ahead, buy it. I'm gonna get my next upgrade now. Oh, Shaq Fu is out. Shaq Fu is out and I have it. It's a free download because I, I owned the uh, NBA Playgrounds when it first came out and it was a disaster. So I'm getting Shaq Fu right now. Oh, we have to stream Shaq Fu, don't we? We do. We have to stream Shaq Fu. I have to delete Mario Tennis. I'm out of room. It won't download. I deleted Mario Tennis, that's not enough room. Come on. What else can I delete? Oh, there it goes. Shaq Fu is downloading. Boom. Um, very little, man. You know, I just, just chill and I just let things happen. You know, I had a ticket for E3 once back around the year 2000 when I ran an online video game store full time and uh, I had a ticket for E3, but I couldn't afford the, 
I couldn't afford a, a plane ticket to get there. Um, so these days, I just, whatever, you know. I know there's going to be cool stuff coming out all the time. So I'll get myself all kinds of crazy. But I, I, would, I would love to hear about an Animal Crossing for Switch. Like a real one, like a New Leaf type game for Switch. That would get me excited. Um, I do hope they announce Fortnite so when I'm forced to play it, so people actually watch my streams, that I can at least play it on Switch. <laughs> you know? Uh, but I'm interested in more Splatoon. I know they got a big Splatoon announcement coming out sometime soon. I'm really curious what that is. Can't wait. So we can upgrade my sword. And we can upgrade that. Oh, only a thousand each. That's not so bad. My armor can't be upgraded anymore. Want more defense, though, rather than more attack. But, um, let's get these upgraded. So both of my attacks are now stronger. And as you know, we upgraded my defense last time. So we're a little... Oh, man, look at all the health I can get. Four days till the Splatoon announcement. I know we're not going to get an Animal Crossing New Leaf announcement. I wish we would. But I know they got so much going on. And New Leaf is massive. It needs its own release window. You know, so when they make a sequel for Animal Crossing, they're going to have to wait till it's right. Plus, uh, I don't know how much you guys played New Leaf. In my opinion, it's a Nintendo's best game ever. The amount of content in New Leaf is ridiculous. The game is humongous. Most people stop playing before they even realize that 75-80% of their game hasn't even unlocked yet. That's how big the game is. And I've had so much fun playing it with people over the years online and whatnot. I really can't wait for, uh, for a Switch version, but I'm patient. I don't want them putting it out and having it overshadowed by, like, you know, Fortnite or something like that. Yeah, me too. I think it's uh, maybe the only console game I've ever hit that the 300 hours on. My favorite game of all time. P period. The end. That's awesome. We should play sometime, dude. We should go online and do uh, go to the island and play some of the mini games and stuff. That would rock. So anyway, we're stronger now, which is so cool. And our defense has been improved. I don't think we're going to make it to the uh, end boss, though. The only problem with 3DS is that the, the, the friend system. Oh, man, I didn't empty my box before I left. You guys let me do that. What kind of friends are you? Um, the friend code system where you both have to enter each other's friend code. Uh, the majority of people I've met over the years who have wanted to, like, hook up on 3DS... Oh my god, I just found the exit to the next level already. Haven't uh, put my friend code in. I put theirs in. They've like forgotten, I guess, to put mine in or whatever, and then we lose touch. Jack Fu is downloading on Switch as we speak. Moonlighter is not out on Switch yet, if that's what you mean. I don't know when it's coming, but not yet. Oh, I almost forgot to equip those. All right, we got really lucky. We found the exit to the the next level of the dungeon right off the bat. All right, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. They got me kind of cornered. Those guys are best fought with the bow and arrow from a distance. I just took a lot of damage. I'm not going to make... I just healed myself. i got to tell myself not to make that mistake again. Because... Every time I heal myself... After combat... I switch screens and then the pool is there. These guys don't change their attack direction... Until after they've fired all three shots. So make them fire and then hit them. I just noticed he did just switch on two shots. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me covered there. 
Can you remind me a little earlier next time, perhaps? You know, just just a tiny bit earlier. We are heading for the end boss, and we are, I promise you, going to get our butt kicked. We are going to die a brutal, painful, swift death. I love that enemy, though. I think that's the best enemy in the game so far. It's very creative. I don't know what the heck it is, but he actually makes a fist and then pounds. I like that a lot. Oh, some good drops from him. We're looking for the exit, by the way. It's going to be a blue door. It's a blue oozing door. That's what we're looking for. Shots stop their motion. Do you notice that? If you hit them, they stop their motion. So projectiles are how to go after these guys. And we're still not going to use our health in hopes of finding the healing pool. What is that? Oh, he's dizzy. He hit the rock with his face and he's dizzy. That's pretty awesome. Oh, no. He looks... Like, I don't want to take a hit from him. Oh, I can only hurt him while he's dizzy? Is that the case? Or maybe I need to switch to the sword. That was close. You guys catch that? I might have to bail again, but... I, I might have to bail again. <laughs> if I don't find the health pool soon... We're in a lot of trouble. We've had five, six watching the whole time. That's pretty cool. I just wish more would actually hit the sub button for me. I know you guys are going to be cool friends and you're going to click an ad or two on my website for me today, right? Three hours stream. Just us pals today. Nobody likes me. Come on. Come on. Open. Did the chest open? Oh. I, don't, I still haven't figured out how to stack. This is for secret items, but I don't know how to stack them. We'll just swap this thing for them. Just in case there's something good. And then we'll swap this thing for the stick. And we'll swap this thing. I don't know if that's... No. I guess that's... So I'm full. Do we leave and keep all of our stuff? Or do we continue making a suicidal charge? Oh, no. Do we continue making a suicidal charge for the emboss? I need you guys to vote on me here. I mean, I got a full pack, like... Jeez, he like exploded stuff. Wait, hold on. Yeah, they will. But when I die, all things will be destroyed. And I am going to die. Look at my health. So when I die, everything is destroyed. I keep accidentally unstacking things and I have a hard time figuring out how to restack them. Well, the game just came out, so I have no clue what I'm doing either except dying. I'm going to bail. I know we're going to lose stuff, but the next hit I take, I'm going to die. Unless the health pool is up here. So let's go with it. Oh, there's a letter. The ruined tools and golem chills are hard to find. Golden chest. So let's see. Ready? The, the healing pool is going to be in this next door. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's not.
What it say? Attack a moving rock and I'll drop a certain thing called a core. Okay. So. Alright, so the healing pool is going to be in this door. This is it. It's going to be here. <clears throat> it is in here. I can't believe it. Oh my god. The healing pool is in here. And we continue our quest for imminent death at the hands of an unknown entity. Whoa. The chest is alive. I had no idea. And I just happened to hit it with a sword. Piss it off. And there's our death. You guys don't listen to me. Trophy earned. There is no avaris without something. We lost all of that. Oh. Oh, that makes me so sad. Guys, I'm, I can't even express my sadness right now. We just lost so much stuff. This game is, you know, unfortunately the grind is too much. And it's all hindsight. Like if you know ahead of time, you know, how the, all the upgrades work, who's got what, what you need, what kind of money, what kind of uh, items. You can prepare for all that ahead of time and maybe do better. But first playthrough, boy, it's a serious grind. You guys want to see Shaq Fu on the Switch? I'm going to throw Shaq Fu on for a short time. So be back. <laughs> 